Ladies and gentlemen, she's an actor, writer, a regular on the stand-up comedy scene and a graduate of Channel 31 Studio A. Please welcome your host, the multi-talented Tegan Higginbotham. across Australia. And by Australia, I do mean Melbourne and Geelong. <laughs> That's still good. And hello, Sydney, Perth, and Brisbane. You will be seeing us a little bit later, at which point I hopefully will have CGI'd in my co-host, Mr. Hugh Jackman, everybody. <laughs> hello, Hugh. How are you doing? What was that, Hugh? Oh, uh, he's leaving his wife for me. Fabulous. So he should. Now, tonight is a very important night for the Antenna Awards because not only are we celebrating the best community television from around the country, but we're also marking a pretty important milestone. 2014 represents 20 years of community television in Australia, which is fantastic. That deserves a huge round of applause right there. Yes. Pretty special, pretty special. And to, congr and to congratulate us on this amazing achievement, we actually have a letter from the Communication Minister himself, Mr Malcolm Turnbull. Malcolm got in contact with, him all, with us all and he said, um, Ha ha, I'm shutting you down. By the way, I totally just kicked a puppy in the head. Oh my God! <laughs> Malcolm! I don't know what's worse, the fact that you kicked a puppy in the head or that this was printed out in Comic Sans MS. What? <laughs> No, unfortunately, the government has decided that as of December 2015, community television as we know it will be no more, which is terrible. But don't worry, because if there's one thing I've learnt over the past few years, it's that just because a politician says something, it doesn't necessarily mean it's true. Okay? <laughs> It is time for us to award the Outstanding Sports Program. And I know, I know, it's a little hard to be invested. We, are, we don't really care about sports in Australia. Just kidding. The only tricky thing with sports in Australia at the moment is that you can't have a conversation without it, about it without having to hear about the Essendon drug scandal. Is anybody else sick and tired of hearing about Essendon? Oh my God. And I have such a bone to pick with James Hurd. I mean, he spent all that time in France this year. You think at the very least he would have figured out how to surrender. <laughs> the, one, the one big problem I have, though, is we've got to stop calling it a saga. We really do. The Essendon drug saga. No. For something to be a saga, it needs to contain one of these three things. Wizards, dragons, or an ending, okay? <laughs> I'm tired of the Essendon drug scandal. That said, though, there is still an awful lot to be excited about in the sporting community in Australia. And I am very excited now to introduce our next two presenters, Mark McCallion and Brenda Tredenichenko. <laughs> now, before we continue tonight, there are a few people that we have to thank. First of all, we have to thank Channel 31 for putting on this beautiful evening. Hasn't it just been lovely? Thank you so much, Channel 31. A massive thank you to all the people behind the scenes who have made this night happen, including all of the amazing volunteers for donating their time this evening. Thank you so much, guys. Of course, of course, we absolutely have to thank everybody who put in their time and effort to create content for community television in Australia this year. I know how hard you work and it is so appreciated. Thank you so much, guys. Yeah, come on, they deserve a big old round of applause too. And finally, of course, we have to thank all the people at home for watching us. You let schmucks like me get on the screen and express ourselves, and gosh, I'm grateful. Thank you to all the people who have supported community television. Thank you all to the viewers at home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I've been your host, Tegan Higginbotham. Thank you so much for having me, and let's go out with another big old round of applause from No Limit.